Now the fourth point is regarding the question that rice is supposed to cause uh, kidney stones. And a moment earlier, I told you guys that uh, kidney stones, when you take 100 patients, out of those 180 patients, 80 patients, okay, 80 out of 100, will be having stones. Those stones, when you examine, you will uh, find thereby a stuff that is known as oxalate. Okay, so those stones are called as oxalate stones. Now, looking to this, let me tell you guys about the nutritional con constituents of uh, these three things: uh, rice, spinach, and almond. When you take the rice, when you examine oxalate in the rice, you will get two to 10 milligrams. In short, you can say only 10 milligrams will be seen in the half cup of the rice. And the same half cup of the spinach, you will find 755 mg of the oxalate. What of the oxalate? Oxa, okay, oxalate. And if you take about 20 or 22 elements, in short, you can say this type, this much almond, if you take, that actually covers your power. So when you take this much almond, what will happen then? You are actually taking 122 mg of the oxalate. You are actually taking this much oxalate in this particular concentration. So now those who are saying that kidney stones are actually worsened by taking the rice, now just concentrate the concentration of the kidney stone causing thing that is oxalate in all these three things the half cup of rice contains 10 mg and the same half cup of the spinach contains 755 mg and the same cup of the uh, cup not cup uh, amount of the almond like uh, 22 or 20 or 30 amounts they contain 122 mg now just look at the concentration oxalate is very low in the rice as compared to spinach and almond. We just thoroughly observe the nutritional value of the oxalate of all these rice, spinach, almond. Well, anyways, whatever you're taking, if you are not a kidney patient, and if you're afraid of taking rice, uh, spinach, or anything, try to follow this very rule. That is, always take uh, a very small and good quality of food.